also you, you can explain to me uh, what triggered off per, uh, the perkasa you wing to show this uh, dissatisfaction towards Tatuk Zain Ibrahim. Okay, as you know, perkasa main uh, function is to protect the nation positionally, and then uh, the the power of the hierarchy of the, the Sultan is part of our fight. Okay. So we, we will be the front force anything touched within the, the hierarchy of the Sultan or so ever. So when this issue been been, been brought up because of political matter, that's what I say. Uh, if you got any argument between political party is fine. But don't ever don't bring the, the Sultan into the political factor. Mm. Because any time the, the Sultan is higher than political party. Mm. So if you got any argument between uh, Pakatan Rakyat and Barca National, prove it. But don't bring the Sultan to this matter. That's what Sultan said. A mosque is a place for people to for praying and so ever. Don't take the political things into the mosque. Then that is an argument. When when Zaid Ibrahim said whatever Sultan said is is not valid because he should know if a Sultan is a Ulul Amri, that means Ketua Agama. As a Ketua Agama in Selangor, he has right to tell people not to use the mosque as a place for political party. So when this thing been been uh, been uh, played by the opposition, uh, the current the government in Selangor. They are supposed to respect because they are the state government of Selangor, and the person that come up with the the instruction is the Sultan of Selangor. They as a uh, as a state government, they are supposed to respect whatever the Sultan has said, mm. but not to challenge the Sultan. Mm. But once they challenge the Sultan, for us, that way the trigger comes. We ask them to apologize within 24 hours. If not, we will do major demonstration in front of uh, the mosque just now. But uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, I just got information before we started just now. Zaid Ibrahim have apologized in Estro Awani. Okay. Once he apologized in Estro Awani, and we respect uh, whatever we have said, and we respect to the Sultan, so that's why we disperse early. Okay. But although we disperse early, mm -hmm. the thing is, the damage has been done. Okay. The damage here is he as a leader, as a advisor for Pakatan Raya, mm -hmm. he's supposed to know this. Okay. So for us, we do a police report. He's like, uh, uh, he's asking people not to respect the Sultan. So we requested the police to do an investigation towards him. When did Zaid apologize? Uh, what I heard just now, uh, before we started just now, he apologized uh, yesterday night or this morning in Estro Awani. Okay. So once they informed me, Zaid Ibrahim have apologized. So that's what I said. If they apologize, we will disperse. He apologized to the Sultan? To the Sultan. Okay. We will disperse. So in terms of we respect whatever we have said, yeah. that's why we disperse. Okay. Uh, but the thing is, the damage has been done. All right. yeah, but still, we do a police report to a scene because he as a, a, a seasonal politician, mm -hmm. a seasonal lawyer, mm -hmm. he's supposed to know not to touch the hierarchy of Sultan. All right. So we, we ask the police to investigate this matter. So what was your basis of uh, uh, complaint to investigate him on one basis for defamation? This, this or pure defamation. Pure defamation. Pure defamation. Defamation to the Sultan to the of Slango. Slango. We are not into political party. Okay. So if the past want to join us, our hands is always open for past. Okay. Even PKR or whatever. Did PAS actually uh, come up to Prakasa and say that we support what you guys are we, doing? I have, I have asked several PAS members, uh -huh. but they said because this is a matter of their advisor in Pakatan Rakyat, they tend to just learn quiet. Who are these PAS members you spoke to? Few, few youth leaders. Youth Islam. leaders. But I told them. Uh, this matter is not a matter of political party. Mm -hmm. When this touch the hierarchy of the Sultan, mm -hmm. by right, in, if you are fighting over uh, Islamic country or whatever, what the past is doing, they're supposed to respect whatever mm -hmm. the Sultan is doing because Sultan is the head of Islam in Islam. Mm -hmm. So why not protecting the Sultan? Mm -hmm. So Perkasa views, views this as Zayed's statement, not just insults the Sultan, mm -hmm. but insults its Islam yes. in one way yes, or yes, another. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, I've got one concern because uh, this is with regards to uh, yesterday's uh, protest in front yes. of uh, the headquarters at uh, Merchant Square, which was led by you. Yes. And I think you had uh, about several other Malay NGOs and yes. about, about 30 over people and yes. all that. And um, 
Yes, I mean my my concern is right because there are some uh, vulgarity use, profanity use in the banners. Like, uh, pardon me saying this this word bangsat, which I got I got to father from my colleague. It's not a very nice word to use. And then there were also vulgar, vulgar uh, hand gestures, which I saw on the video. Okay. So my question is, um, if I mean, is, is it necessary to uh, protest is fine, yeah, yeah. but is it necessary okay. to have for vulgarity? Me, very simple. I apologize on behalf of the demonstration because most of them is not even even from Pakistan. Sir, and outside the people, okay. so I apologize on behalf of them because this thing creates tense. Whatever Zaid is doing, it creates tense for the Malay community. Mm. Do we want this? Mm. We want to live peace and harmony. Mm. But when it creates tense, uh, the, the people outside they come, the, the, the vulgar guest it's not from Pakasa, yeah. but they come here and support Pakasa because they feel that uh, this is mengganggu uh, bugat keharmoni negara. They are playing with the harmony of the, of the country. Mm. So whatever they're doing on behalf of Perkasa, especially the youth woman, I apologize. Is Perkasa, is Perkasa expecting uh, another apology from Zayed, personally from Zayed to Perkasa? No, because he, did, uh, he don't have to apologize to Perkasa. Oh. Because he don't have any problem to Perkasa. So he just uh, only have to apologize to the Sultan. Sultan. Which he already did. Yes. Okay, so now that he already, uh, he already uh, apologized, the demonstration has been called off and a police report has been filed. Uh, are we expecting any Anything else? Is anything else going as to happen? As long as they don't touch the the, the Sultan, uh -huh. don't touch the uh, question of like, our our country, uh -huh. it's fine. Okay. Because as what we said, we are not racist. Uh -huh. We are not a racial party that uh, more to no we racial tax. Yeah. Because Pakasa is is developed, is been born because to protect the position of our our country. That's all. We never ask for more. We never ask for less. Okay. We just say this is the 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 mission consciousness. We respect, respect it. That's all. Okay. And we respect uh, the Indians, we respect the Chinese, the Iban, the Kadazan. We've shown in Hulu Slango, we've been supporting Kal Kalamanada. It shows that we are not uh, a racist party, a racist Portubuhan. But it's just that in this case, it's, it, it talks about the sanctity of Islam, so that's how it triggers yes, the issue. Yes, yes. Okay, I got one more question. Um, you, uh, where did you file your police report again? You don't mind me asking? Uh, in Shah Alam section 11. Okay, did you speak to any uh, any particular officer or was just one of those uh, those who are doing those rank and file? Rank, rank, rank and file. But rank. they will call up. They will call up. They will call up. Soon. All right, okay. And uh, who filed? You filed on behalf of Perkasa? Um, the youth movement. The All the youth NGO movements. All right, okay. So, and, and you all be following up after this? Yes. Yes. All right. For us, it's very simple. As long as they don't disturb the hierarchy of the Sultan, uh, they don't, don't challenge the question of Negara, uh, uh, of Malaysia, Malaysia, it's fine. All right. uh, we will not uh, be in the picture. Okay. Because all the while, we only come out when they touch certain very sensitive issues. Mm -hmm. Because for us, this is a multiracial country. Uh, for the past 53 years, we live in peace and harmony. Mm -hmm. But since that March 2008 till now, both political parties have been doing politics things until create racial tax. You see, you see the Malaysian, you see? The Indians, the Chinese can sit in, in a restaurant, eat have the freedom. We don't have to fight among each other. We want to start thing to prolong. If we stop this thing, we let them play with the racial tents. We scared one day the Malay uh, walk elsewhere, the Indian will come fight, the Chinese will come. We don't want this. We want peace and harmony in the country by respecting the nation constitution. Okay, now that side has already apologized and all, uh, are y'all planning to like you know you're gonna bury this aside and no more hard feelings, no more harsh feelings? No, for us it's very simple. For Picasso it's very simple. As long as they apologize, which is already dead, yeah, that's fine. it. Fine. Okay, but don't touch it again. Touch it again. Okay. Because whenever they touch it again, we will be the, the first one to go and 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 hit them up. Hit them up. Yeah.